YouTube channel and thank you for still subscribing to my YouTube channel for those who are here new to my channel you might want to first uh, subscribe to my channel it's free of charge and it won't cost you anything it means next thing is that welcome if you are from five from four student you have just registered and I want to sit for SPM physics welcome it worth your while to stop by and it worth to spend two years and to sit for SPM by the end of the year now the logic behind I'm doing this video for AdMath and also for uh, physics we are doing physics now is that I want to encourage people because I've seen youngsters these days do not like physics no, so sad of course first thing second thing is that um, maybe they don't have the resources tuition they will find it in a, a big crowd of students they might not f I mean able to fit into the class the time is doesn't allow them to do so so I made up this video you may download it you may watch it at night time during revision for etc all my video wouldn't be a long winded beginning but since it's my first video I will spend some time chit chat with interact with my student with my, my viewer now the series of this uh, video that I made is made free so I would really uh, appreciate it if uh, by the end of it you were able to press on the thumbs up button in my YouTube channel just below it thumbs up you just press on it it means you like it it won't cost you anything but it will encourage me to make more video okay now to start out with this is the interface that we will use there are some other notes that I won't normally make a video for physics those that doesn't have a video then I will upload some notes for you to refer it means to help you with your school work just in case at school you have something not clear then maybe you are able to refer now in uh, form 4 oh yes before that there are a total of 5 chapters in form 4 and 5 chapters in form 5 so making it to have total 10 chapters okay all of these 10 chapters there are total three papers for physics paper one would be for um, objective questions paper two would be short answer question paper three will be mainly based on experimental I mean any experiment they will ask you for experiment just write a report you doesn't need to conduct the experiment the, yeah? you just need to uh, know what do you need to do is available in your textbooks so far any textbooks around you were able to find is more than sufficient okay um, I'm not sure if I uh, I should tell what brand you use but if you really go through with it um, you know which textbook to look for but do not forget with your school textbook as well yeah reference book are important but do not forget your textbook now as in your uh, textbook it suggests first chapter normally you need you to do something but maybe I can highlight some of that um, you will talk about physics so what really actually physics are now in physics there are some books you say oh physics comes from work from the uh, Greek work Greek work it means the knowledge of nature actually actually study the nature yeah? study of the nature study of nature now let me quote a professor from US Michio Kaku he says any device any device that you can name of you can think of created by human you'll be able to name a physicist behind it there is a physicist behind it of course not to mention they are engineers but the fundamental the fundamental knowledge comes from physics you're able to explain it by using physics phenomenon so um, as for the introduction just let you know yeah if you are interested you may look for it look for him from YouTube 
uh, Michio Gaku M I okay professor Michio Kaku he published a few books also and also quite lots of video over YouTube you may uh, want to you know look for him and watch his video now in form 5 physics um, it's actually class I mean there are two types you know from form, form 5 classical physics and modern physics so you in uh, chapter 2 later you will learn mechanics then followed by heat chapter 3 for light sound electricity that will be in form 5 nuclear physics and there are lots more yeah you go through the textbook then you have some idea what I'm trying to tell so um, any object yeah any mechanical object any um, electronics yeah your watch your bicycle your fan they would have a physicist you able to place a physicist behind it because it, it's actually created by physicists okay um, without further without uh, further ado what I do, let me start out with what you learn in physics, what you what is required. So first thing you will learn, yeah, you know, that will be called physical quantities. Okay? In physical quantities, you need to measure something. Okay? Quantities. Called physical quantities. Physical because it's something that you're able to see, mean physical. Quantities would be something that you will be able to uh, measure. Meaning it's measurable. Meaning it's measurable. Just like a lula. You need to measure what? Length, isn't it? So, before we get to that, yeah, quantities, measurable quantities, quantity, there are two different categories. One is called the base quantity. Another one that we will be called um, derived quantities. I mean, that will be hard now because you are new. If you are not new, then maybe you have some idea. What does it mean by that? Derived quantity, okay? Base quantity and derived quantity. Let me start out with the base quantity. What does it mean by the base quantity? For base quantity, Now, base quantity, as I've uh, mentioned earlier, right? You were able to measure. So, first one would be called the length. Length is a quantity. Maybe I'll name this. Quantity. Okay, quantity. Length is one quantity. Maybe I will use a symbol, symbol, as a length would be, maybe I would write as L, length, okay, represents length. Now, depending on which field you are from, depending what's your major, okay, um, say if you are a student, you normally will have a lula, a lula measure in centimeter carpenter they will have measuring tape they will be using measuring tape and then their measurement unit would be uh, feet and length so you have unit depending on which view you are from or which country in the US they do not have centimeter they have doesn't have doesn't really use meter they were using the uh, non SI unit non uh, international standard they were using a uh, foot they were using yard yeah then the conversion one yard is three foot so it really drives you crazy with that so uh, here since Malaysia is a Commonwealth country then we will uh, focus at the British unit so the uh, SI unit for length will be using meter okay um, maybe you are new maybe you say okay what's the name of it it means meter 
Now it's not limited to only meter, depending on which field. Astrophysicists, someone from the study the the uh, the planet, they were using light years. Yeah, light years is not for speed. Yeah, light years is length. How far light travels? One year. Okay, is length. Okay, now depending on uh, which field you are, but since uh we are doing uh, SPM physics, our International standard unit, SI unit, would be meter for length. So, you think of length, lula, okay, next thing that will be how about your mass, right? Your mass. Mass is also another quantity. You just stand on the scale, you go to the uh, night market, you go to the, the uh, shopping complex, or you go to the grocery shops, you want to buy a fish, you put on the scale, okay? And a uh, symbol, let me uh, make do with a symbol. Symbol for uh, mass would be M, mass. Symbol is mass. Unit is kg. It means a prefix, yeah? Kilogram. Kilogram, meaning it's 1000 gram. So the SI unit is kg for mass. Again, it's really much depend uh, on which field you are. If you're from the US, normally they were using ounce. Where one ounce you have about twenty-eight point uh, twenty-eight point three five gram ounce and pound, or well, maybe in a non-SI unit it's pound. Okay, so uh, you have length, you have mass. Then the third one is rather easy: is the time. Your watch, your watch will be able yeah to measure time. Symbol T capital. Oh no, sorry, small t. Unit for time is actually second. It's not hour, but second. Name is second. S E C O N D. That's the uh, fun you may be able to make look, uh, make fun with if you use an analog clock. You have second hand. Yeah, second hand is the needle, the longest needle in, in the analog clock. The second hand is for time. Now the fourth one would be rather um, tricky. It's called electric. Maybe you are new to it, current. But I'm sure some of you, especially guys, have gone through a uh, Kamahiran Hido KH. You have learned about this current. No, current symbol is actually I. It's really different from it words. There's no E and C. It's I. Unit for current is ampere A. So name is ampere A M P R E. Okay. Ampere, right? And the fifth one is called temperature, body temperature. Okay, just like a body temperature. You go to the hospital, they have a thermocouple. That's again, there's a machine, and this thermocouple is created by a scientific physicist. Yeah, to be specific. A, the symbol for temperature is T, temperature, capital T. Now, the unit, yeah, they do not use degree Celsius. SI unit, they were using Kelvin. K capital, right? You get to learn this in uh, chapter four from four on his temperature. Okay, so these are the five base quantity that you should know. And uh, how do they define one meter, one kg, one second, one ampere, and one Kelvin? It's uh, based on some standard. Yeah, based on standard in the uh, bureau of uh, in the bureau. I mean, SI unit. I mean, in in Greenland. Yeah, they have this unit. How they define it? Okay, so uh, you may look into it. How do they define one meter, one kilometer, one second, one ampere, and one Kelvin? Because next. What I'm going to do would be derive quantities. <laughs> okay, for derived quantities, it sounds so scary, but it's not. Okay, what is derived quantities? Derived quantities is a com combination. I would derive it personally for you to understand. Derived quantities is actually combination of base quantities yeah 
it's a direct quantity. Let's say, give an example, area. Okay, find me an area. Okay, area may be a symbol A, area. How do you get area? Area will be actually um, the dimension, yeah? Length. I mean, a square bracket means a dimension for length times another length, isn't it? Length for time, length. Then the unit, therefore, would be the unit it turns out to be meter squared, right? Length and length. This is the base quantity, right? This is actually length. One length times another length. And it's the base quantity. The unit is that. Okay? You need to, first of all, train your brain to look at it. Area. This is dimension, length by length. This is a unit. In physics, number without unit is meaningless. Okay? If you have a number, make sure it comes with a unit. The same goes with volume. I'm going to give you a few examples. I will not be able to give you all because there's no way to do that. Yeah? It's too long. Now, length will be what? The length, the width, and also the height. So it's also the dimension for length times another length, you define it as width, and also another length you def define as height. And therefore, the unit is meter cube. Right? This is actually a revision what you have learned. Right? Now, Next, maybe would be says um, maybe velocity or speed. Okay, speed. How fast? Maybe u, small u. Now speed would be a little bit tricky because speed is actually the rate change for distance. So rate change of distance, rate change meaning something over time, small t. Rate of change of something, some quantity. Rate change of another quantity. Rate change of Distance. Distance is actually measured by length. Rate change of distance. Okay? Rate change of another distance. So it's actually speed. It doesn't know which direction. That's why it's called speed. You just know how fast. It doesn't know which the car, the direction where it is traveling. So the unit would be, the length is meter. Divide, and it will divide in a log, logarithm, you learn it, by time is second. There are others, of course. Yeah, you may uh, go through uh, the list of it. Or maybe I'll give you another. Uh, maybe I'll give you another five. Uh, maybe two more. Density, perhaps. Density. Symbol would be rho, R H O. Go up and then just like oh, okay, curve in, right? So density is mass per unit volume. So mass would be unit dimension is mass dimension then the symbol yeah we we'll talk about symbol this is mass over volume volume would be um, the length so it's the length times length times length that you get volume so therefore the unit would be kg per meter cube as in as a unit. Now do not confuse this small m with this m because they are different. This m is meter. When you come to unit, this m inside a square bracket is a symbol for mass. Okay? Then uh, maybe it's good also, it's good also to let you know what does it mean by um, perhaps frequency. Frequency F frequency is actually one over time period is time. It's like how many times it occur. Then you find out per second. Then therefore the unit is actually um, per second, but it has a special unit. This special unit called Hertz symbol Hertz Z Hertz okay 
kind of special symbol, Hertz. And um, there are actually a list of it. You should at least get to know about ten of them. Make your own notes. Find out what the quantity, derived quantities. Or you may, I may assign you some homework here. Go to find out what are the unit and what is the dimension used for force. Maybe this is called a quiz. Okay. What's force? Symbol F. What is it? What's the unit? And also um, pressure. It will be easy if I'm doing it over here on the left, but you do it yourself, it will take some time. But I'm sure you can do it. Work. It might not be in chapter 1, maybe it's in uh, chapter 2, chapter 3. You find out what is work done, what's the dimension, also what is power. And uh, electric charge is interesting also. It's different from electric current. Electric charge. You may write to me if you can't find it. I'll be more than happy to assist. Okay. So uh, this is a quiz question. I will not be able to do it here. Yeah, find out. Which is equivalent to what you need. And then here is the dimension. You may add another column, yeah, for yourself. You find out the equation. Yeah, you need to know the equation. So it's kind of practice for you. Okay. Now, once you uh, get to know what's derived quantities, then uh, next would be uh, some really standard things that you should know. Now, if you have missed out certain part, it's always good to download this video. You'll be able to pause it, rewind to the previous second or minute, and then read from there, I mean listen from there, okay? So I'll uh, proceed with the next page. Next thing is called, really important, standard form. In science, you express your answer in standard form, or scientific notation, okay? It's based on the power of the uh, 10, and it's always in the form of this format, general format, standard form, power n, where my number of a is less than 10, more than 1. It could be an integer or decimal place, a decimal number. Okay? Normally in three significant figures. Normally, in actually two to three cinema figures depend on the question. As for final answer, it is your final answer. Final answer. Normally, you advise to express your answer in in uh, standard form. In two to three significant figures. Okay, and I hope you know what are the rules to get into significant figures. Then after that, you get to learn uh, standard form. Then it comes to prefix. In prefix, will be those that we used earlier. We call it kilogram, kg. K is actually represents kilo. So K is a prefix. A prefix for what? Well. It would be easier if I were to represent it in a table form. Oh, perhaps over a line. Says if you are here at one. Okay. 
standard one. It's one meter, one kg, one Kelvin. No, I didn't really use in Kelvin. One normally is one meter, one kg. Uh, this is a standard uh, number. Now, if you were given a unit to be a deca, a ten to it, okay? Time ten to it. Time ten to this. We'll call it as a deca. D A. Hundred to it. Ten two. Hecto. H E C T O. Hecto. Hecto. Thousand to it. That would be the famous kilo. Six times. Now one, two, three. Jump to six. A million. This is called mega. M. E G A. Mega. You use with only M. Mega meter. You use mega. We have six. Then comes with ten nine. Ten nine will be giga. G. Giga. And then it comes with ten twelve. Terra. T. Terra. Maybe I will straight away use the symbol Terra, Giga. This is Mega. M, Mega. Capital M. Kilo is small k. Then the rest is uh, Hecto is just which. Deca is D A, okay. Over the right hand side, ten negative one. This is a uh, our famous deci. D only. Minus two have centimeter. Ten minus two, we have a centimeter cm. C. Then ten minus three. Famous millimeter M. This is something that we are get used to it already these days. Ten three, then jump to straight away negative six. Oh, negative six is tricky because it means micro. The symbol is different. M micro. Then the famous technology you heard over the commercial. Minus nine. You have nano, small n, and smaller than nano. Minus twelve pico pico second p okay they are also prefix smaller than those we have negative fifteen but uh for SPM I think this is what is required okay then uh, not just by memorizing this how to do it is that uh ability yeah, to find out what is that unit I mean what does it represent say for example when you use it questions like for example compare which is the longest which is the uh, shortest maybe to tell you okay I have 2.15 times 10 power 10 um, micrometer okay uh, convert it uh, to meter you need to compare which is the longest. So, in order to convert to meter, it's rather simple because you just copy the number, just copy what you have in the standard form. Micro. What is it by micro? Micro is actually times ten minus six. Then, since it's meter, meter. Okay. You just convert this symbol into what you have found over here. Then, you just perform what you have learned in uh, maths or modern maths. One five times 10, 10, 10 base the same number, times, times is plus, so 10 plus minus 6, 10 plus 
negative 6 meter. Therefore, the final answer would be tan 10 4 meter. Okay. So you are given a list of number. Find out which one is the longest or shortest. Then first of all, you need to. Yeah, it's required. You need to convert it into the standard form or the SI unit. So meter is SI unit. That's why I converted it to meter initially. Okay, convert to you the standard unit so that you'll be able to compare. In order to compare, first of all, you need to compare an apple to an apple. Otherwise, there's no way for you to compare. Right? Then uh, ability to convert unit. Okay? Say, for example, um, SI unit. For any SI unit conversion, again, this is the same advice from what I have given to admats. You need to have at least uh, 30 questions, objective questions, for what I have covered. Um, says, I will give you a scenario. Let's say you have an area, a square. Okay? A square of uh, 1 meter by 1 meter. Now, if we were to convert this unit to centimeter, the dimension would be the same still, right? Only that if you want it to be centimeter, you get to know one meter is actually 100 centimeter. Because centi is minus 2, 2, you get it 1, right? So, 1 meter is 100 centimeter. So, the area, 1 meter squared area, if you want to convert this unit, that would be 1 times 10 power 4 centimeter squared. Okay? Because you have 2 0, you have 2 0, you times them, power 4. But the moral value of the story is if you want to convert 1 meter squared to centimeter squared, it's actually one meter squared is therefore one meter hundred centimeter squared, right? Because it's for one length area is two dimension, I mean two length dimension, and then you will get your centimeter squared. Okay. This is something really tricky. Yeah? The best way to understand it is from here. Here. One meter is 100 centimeter. One meter, 100 centimeter, you times it, 1 power 4. You get this concept correctly, then it's uh, rather easy. Yeah? It's so much easier for you to convert between them. There are some other example, yeah, a tricky one. Convert. I have uh, says uh, what zero point, maybe zero 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 eight gigameter. Then you say what's gm? Yeah. Sometimes prefix would really confuse student. What's gm? You have forgotten about this capital G. It's giga actually. Yeah. In order for you to convert giga to micro, yeah, it goes to how many micrometer. That is really, really tough than you thought. Okay? Now, to start with that, you do not straight away convert them. What you will do is you convert it to 1. Convert it to meter. Then from meter, you convert it to micro. That will be so much easier. So to start out with, what you do, first you find out how many meter are there. So what you do, put it into standard form. So first of all, it's 8 times 10 power negative 4 because it's 1, 2, 3, 4 minus 4 right? Giga what's Giga? Giga is times 10 power 9 meter so that's what you have you manage to convert to meter then in order for you to convert back into a uh, micron so what you do what you do would be I think I'll continue from here. Micron. Micron is minus 6 
micron micrometer micrometer is 10 minus 6 but in order you know, to neutralize this micron to be meter you times 10 power 6 so that you this power 6 will be able to cancel off the minus 6 granite and if you solve this eventually you get 11 micrometer I understand that it is really tricky pause this video and then uh, rewind to the previous two minutes so first of all this portion is where you get your meter from here and here this is for giga okay then in order to get micron meter micron meter this is you get meter already if you want to get micron what you do you times 10 power 6 so the 10 power 6 will be neutralized you now this micron is times 10 minus 6 so 10 minus 6 times 10 6 then you get 1 isn't it then you get your mi uh, meter back that's why this is how you should do right? first convert it into meter standard form and then you convert it into SI unit okay so um, there are okay some others you want to change unit for derived quantities because this is all about base quantity yeah for derived quantities then maybe I can uh, show you another one we have time I'll try to make it less than 45 minutes per video this the uh, common most common questions would be uh, density okay density of uh, water or seawater is a uh, gram centimeter minus three is density okay I want to convert it into kg m minus three so how do you do that hmm, huh so first of all you know that one gram one gram is actually one times ten minus three kg, right? Grown up. So ten minus three kg is ten three. Then you get one gram back. The same is true. One centimeter is actually ten minus two meter. They are actually the same, yeah, meter. Because what I need is kg kg and meter so kg meter if you know the conversion then it's quite fit to go now so what can you do therefore 1.05 gram centimeter minus 3 or to put it into an easier way to comprehend it 1 1 1.05 gram per cm cube will be easier to, for you to see would be equals to what would be therefore equals to um, maybe I start out with uh, 1.05 on top this is 1 isn't it okay but uh, you know that already so okay so we're going to do first of all you convert gram gram to kg Okay, so gram to kg times 10 minus 3 so that you get your kg. Right now. Then, what do you have as for denominator? Centimeter. Centimeter to meter. Now, centimeter to meter times 10 minus 2. Right now. Times 10 minus 2. This is centimeter. Centi, C, centi is minus 2 meter, isn't it? Meter. Okay? But you have 3 times because the density is volume. So you power 3, dimension 3 times. Okay? Then you solve this, therefore you get 1.05 times 3 is uh, minus 6, minus 6, minus 6, minus 6, minus negative, negative 6 is positive 6, so it's 10 minus 3 minus minus 6 kg meter minus 3
okay so therefore the answer would be 1.05 times 10 negative negative positive 3 kg m minus 3 okay now you may okay take this as a homework if you have really understands what's happening try to convert 1 gram per cm cube this is the density of water at 4 degree because later you get to learn you know, in chemistry even the density of water is only at 1 when it's at 4 degree celsius meter cube okay how and how to do it yeah? not just by looking at it how it's times 3 yeah? so you know it's 1000 but prove it will be able to convert it or perhaps you convert 1 kg per meter cube convert it into gram per centimeter cube okay so basically this is all about the uh, first chapter SI unit and dimension and uh, stay tuned to my next video in this for this chapter I need to split it because it will be quite lengthy yeah? I will not be able to finish in one video okay then uh, I hope you like my video you press on the thumbs up button it costs you nothing you may also share with friends if it's good download it rewind the previous video if you want to uh, previous second if you want to find out what's happening and I hope I helps you with that but my video do not encourage you not to attend school my video is an aid to help you out better understand this subject before you attend this lecture at school this uh, syllabus at school okay skip school do not help you to get an A during SPM you need to attend school right that's all from me I hope you will subscribe to my YouTube channel It's free of charge stay tuned for my next video.